is Chris. Thank you for joining me. So today's video is about uh, a haul and I'm going to show you where I bought different things in different shops. So I won't be able to give you the names of the shops because there are several of them and sometimes it's also online, but I've received them almost all at once. So I just wanted to show you this um, for Easter and it might give you some ideas as well. So for Easter, I have ordered these uh, little eggs. So they're, they're not real but they're they look very real they have little holes inside and I think it should be nice because they they really look natural but they're plastic so I've bought two of these for Easter um, what also is very useful is, the, is are these masks because um, well you can just use them for resin when I usually uh, sand them down there's a lot of dust with resin so I usually take one of these masks and that's also good if you want to uh, use some wood and you're doing some work it's good to protect your um, your body I mean how do you call them um, lengths I think okay so next what did I buy um, I needed some more gloves so latex glove that's for resin as well or just when I use uh, inks for example I've been using some inks and it stained my uh, fingers so that's always very useful I have bought also some markers these what these are permanent markers you can find them in any shop everywhere um, I've also wanted to try this hard text. It's something that is supposed to harden um, fabric and I really wanted to try this one. I have never seen this one before um, and I thought that that could be interesting because you can use glue and water but sometimes depending on the kind of fabric you're using it's not hard enough. So I really want to try this one and I will try this in a, in a future video. What else? I have bought these uh, wooden sewers, stairs. Um, they're very thin and I don't find these very often so I thought that could be nice. Also to use maybe with resin or for embellishments. Um, and I've taken these as well. They're a bit larger. They're supposed to be cocktail sticks but I thought they were also very good for resin and also, you know, all kinds of decorations. Maybe for summer. Okay, what else? I have found these shells, so I wanted to do some revamping, recycling some jars, and I think that putting a shell on top of it, you can leave it as is, or color them with a little bit of spray paint or acrylic paint, that could be nice as well. So this one was really cheap, it was about a buck, the, the whole bag, so I took two of these actually. What else? Oh, I have found. I really was looking for these. Uh, they look like cactus, but they're smaller. And I wanted to do some home decor with these. Again, they were not that expensive. I think they were kind of a buck each. That was online. I think it was on Hobby Lobby or maybe Amazon. I can't remember that. So they're succulent and they come in different variety of colors and shapes. And they really look real. Look at these. I will be doing some cement pots or with plaster. I need to put this one back in shape, but it's quite easy. You can heat them up if they, you know, sometimes in the bags they're squished, but if you heat them up a little bit with um, warm water, you just dip them in some uh, hot water for a few minutes, you can shape them again very easily. And I really like the colors. Uh, so I've, I took a few bags of them. I'm gonna throw this one away now. Okay, so there it comes others. What else did I bought? Oh, this is just for my phone. It's a uh, power bank. You know, you always need to have sometimes something in your bag in case your um, your um, phone comes out of battery. So that's good. I have also taken these craft feathers. I like the colors actually because you've got some pastel colors, some more vivid colors that could be nice for uh, not only Easter but it can be used for Halloween's because there are a lot of orange and greens. So very, it was about 50 cents in my local craft store. Some of them come from Hobby Lobby. 
Okay, so I've taken another one of these. Uh, this is just for my phone. So not. I'm just going to try it. It was a few cents. I'm not sure it's going to work or not. Uh, these are also very nice. And I thought they were cute for also a buck. Very, very cheap. You've got a few beads and pearls in here. And I like the wooden box, actually. Let me see if I can open this. Um, and to make all sorts of embellishments. I think you can see them. Let me come a little closer, probably. Yeah. Um, these are... No, I think I need to open them. I want to show you this a little better. So you've got some twine and some um, elastic. Also, these pom-poms. And these can be used, as you can see, you can hang them for a, um, a necklace. Or I might maybe trim them off the, the little hoop there to as an embellishment, maybe on a card. And you can do a few things with these pearls. I like that. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, what else? More feathers, more succulent as well. Oh, and I have bought these. Uh, this is um, for aquariums. These are plastic plants. And I wanted to use them because it's not always easy to find dry leaves or dry flowers. And I'm going to put these in my future resin pieces and see if it works. I have seen um, images on Pinterest, for example, where they use plastic leaves like this for uh, aquariums. And they look real, actually. They really look nice. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, what else? Um, yeah. I have bought a few of these as well in other colors. I really like it. It's about the same as this one, but with different colors, and I think they're really cute. I like all this teal color, blue, teal, greenish color. And I also have these in other colors. I mean, for 50 cents, I think it was 50 cents. Oh, no, the price is not here, but I think it was 50 cents for a box. I mean, that's good. I love these also. They're wooden pieces, and the theme here is summer, and it's the beach. You've got palm trees. You've got, you know, a boat things. I really like, I really like these. Maybe for a, a card, I think they would be nice for a man. It's not always easy to find subjects for men. Again, some wooden pieces here, but this is more the flower and uh, succulent. Uh, based and more tropical. I really think they're nice as well. Some of these. Again, I think they were in Hobby Lobby. Um, this cardstock, I really like this one. Um, it's It's got some grain to it, some texture to it, and I think the colors are absolutely great. Again, more for summer. Where I live, it's, the, it's really summery, it's hot. And um, the, the weather is so good that you don't feel like it's still winter. I mean, it's going to be um, spring tomorrow, but we don't even feel like it's spring. More, maybe not summer, but I want to have bright colors right now. So that was about, I think, a dollar, a dollar and a half for all these seeds. You've got 24 sheets, but they're really textured. I love this linen texture. There you go. So one of these, I've also bought a few other things. Let me take a look at this. So, yeah, I bought these. You've got some fabric inside. Let me open it. That was also like a buck. That was in a basket. There you go. And I want to take it all off. All right, so you've got some nice fabric here. You've got little buttons, and you've got some ribbons as well for just maybe not a buck. That's the issue is that you've got no price written on here, but I really like it. So I took several of these because I like the colors, and every time the fabric is the same, at least on this one, but you've got different buttons and you've got different colors here. And I thought it was also very interesting. I like putting fabric more and more onto boxes, for example. And this is the same. This is another um, piece of cardstock, but these are vellum, and I don't find these very often. Um, so I really like them. That was, I think, maybe a buck or two bucks. And they are vellum pieces only. 
you've got three or two at a time, two each. Yeah, two each. But look at this, and that's one sheet, but you can use half of it like this as a card. One sheet makes a card, or you can cut it in half, and you will just have the front. So I think they're really cute. Look at these, um, how they call dragonflies. Look at this. I mean, it's shiny. It's really nice. You can even uh, glue these down onto a cardstock that has color on it. Let's take a look. Hmm. Maybe with a blue background. Let's see. Blue or green, actually. Maybe on the green background. Let's see what it would look like. Yeah, look at this. Wow. On a green background, so it looks like nature. I really like this. And do I have blue in here? I think so. Yeah, there's the blue. Oh, on blue, it's not bad either. But I think I like the green best, or maybe even yellow. Yeah, on yellow, it's not bad. There's a lot of gray, though, but green would be nice. So I have these. I have this one as well. That one for Easter is really nice. That could be for a man's card. Even though there's a little bit of gold, I think it would do the trick. This one is not bad either. Oh, I really like the look at that. How shiny. Um, this one too. This one is nice. Really nice. Oh, yes. Chevrons. Oh, these flowers are gorgeous. Really, really nice. I, I'll share that my project with you using this. I need to think about them. Oh, the butterflies are so beautiful and shiny. Woo! More chevrons, leaves. Foliage, really nice. I think it was worth it. If I had found more, I would have taken them. Um, what else do I have here? Yeah, I've used also these 3D foam pants. You've got three in a pack, um, three sheets. There's one with the, all the um, thickness are not the same. You've got one sheet with one millimeter, one sheet there are two millimeters, and one sheet there's three millimeters. So they're tiny little squares, but every time you've got a thickness that is a different uh, size, so I think that's good. That was only a dollar, so I took three. What I've oh, I've taken more. Oh gosh, I forgot. Yeah, I have wanted to share this with some of my friends. Uh, so I took four actually I completely forgot so there's something I didn't I wanted to buy in more but I didn't have them actually uh, let me see what else do I have oh I have this one I think it's this one I don't have so it's completely different it's more like an Indian look to it um, with these colors again you've got some foil every time really like this one Gorgeous. This one is really bright again with some gold. This one. This one is nice as well. I could probably do this for a man's card. A birthday. This one too. They're not all too girly, which is nice. Really try struggle sometimes for a man's card. This one is thicker. Oh, I really like them. I like chevrons. You can't go wrong with chevrons, actually. You can't go wrong. Um, okay, what else? More gloves. There's only 10 in a box, so. Um, oh, and I have this cardstock. Uh, it's not cardstock. It's mirrored uh, cardboard. So they are really nice. You've got different colors in here. You've got this blue. So, yeah, if, there's 10 sheets, and all the sheets are different. Let me show you some of them. That could be nice for Christmas, but not only if you want to have something really bright. So this one is has a little bit of texture. I hope you'll... I'm sorry for the glare, but if I want to show you the texture, it's not that easy. And so you've got this silver one here. You've got this red. You can see the texture. If you hear some noise in the background, that's my kitty. I'm sorry. 
Um, you've got this nice gold, pink, beautiful, blue, might look purple, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a purplish blue. Another more um, purple one, but darker. Another gold and silver and just one green. I would have hoped they would put more green, but I really like it as well. You can see the texture on it. So, yeah, that's something really nice. I would probably use them more for Christmas. All right. And then I took this binder because I really needed to uh, organize a little bit my room. So that was a very big one organizer. And that's not finished yet. Look at this. Paper. I love paper. I need to go back a little bit. More paper. So, Floral Basics. They're 24. Let me. Oh, I've got too much here on my table. So, 24 sheets, but they're. It's cardstock, so it's really thick. So, if you want to make boxes out of these, that's really nice. And I really like the design. They're double sided. And look at this. I like this floral theme. This one is nice too. It's with leaves. Um, flowers and it's really bright this one is nice as well look at that and what I like with pads paper packs oh this one is beautiful and you've got more succulent here they're cute look at that what I like with these paper packs is that they all coordinate so you don't really have to think about it if you need two different sheets of paper first you've got the back of it that you can use but also they all fit together. That's why I like paper pads. Oh, this one is nice as well. And then it comes up to the same colors again. So that was a buck. And I think it was, yeah, that was a local, um, it's just a, you know, mom and pop's shop. This one is also cardstock, so it's double-sided and it's really heavy, 250 grams, which is really heavy. Let me show you the designs too. So some stars here, more flowers. Oh, they're beautiful. Polka dots, night theme, that's nice with uh, dream catchers, flowers, cactus. Oh, this one is beautiful. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scan these. When I really like a paper, I should think about it more, uh, before, but I would like to think and, you know, spend some time in my craft room, take all the sheets I really love and scan them so I can have them over and over again. And as long as your printer is a good brand, you can probably uh, put some heavy cardstock in it and print on it. And you can, oh, this one is beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh. Hey, should be. My goodness, what is she doing? I'm sorry for the background. Um, oh, succulents. Nice little flowers, and it's the same going on again, same patterns. That's nice. Um, what else did I buy? Let me see. Oh, yes, another craft mat. Always very useful. It's an A3 size. Uh, and it was, I think, $1.59 or so, so I think it was a good deal. I have bought this, so these are die cuts. These are die cuts. Um, and the theme is sugary stuff, so you've got some cakes. Look at that. Oh my god. I want to eat them. They look so good. Ice creams. Cupcakes. Oh wow. They look so great. So all these are die cuts. You just need to take them away, detach them from the background, and do nice 3D cards. I love doing that. 3D cards. And you just layer them. I have a video on these. You can layer them. Look at these cups. How cute. And again, uh, you can scan them. The only thing is that you'll have to cut them out when needed. But still, look at these cakes. Oh, they look so yummy. Oh, my goodness. 
macaroons. Oh gosh, yeah, they look absolutely great. And here you've got little tags and more embellishments. So, yep, this one was nice as well. So think about that, making cards. If you don't have any inspiration, you can use these very easily. I've got another uh, Lux paper block. Uh, that one is nice too because you've got vellum, you've got die cuts in here. Look at this, that's the beachy theme. How beautiful are these? Look at that. I love beachy themes. So you've got many things. You've got fish, you've got uh, weeds, you've got crabs, so an umbrella. Oh gosh, look at that. You've got a little piece of vellum here with different sh things on it. Mermaids, stay wild with little quotes. These are stickers. So you have at least one sheet of stickers. And then you have more paper beachy theme look at this and also heavy card stock which i like to make cards it can be a card base and you do oh this one is really nice really nice with this water or you can frame this and maybe put some decorations on top and use this as a frame for summer beach 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 this one is nice too sand looks real and you've got more die cuts here. This little sea turtle and shells. Oh, seahorses. Really nice. And I love the colors. They're quite bright. Yeah, that's going to be gorgeous. I think I'm really going to use, actually, I'll show you this in a video. I'm going to use the other theme with the, with the, the ocean as a um, background and make a nice um, home decor, wall decor if you wish. More of these here. So they're not 3D, you can't stack them up, but you can do something really nice. And you and use your foams on the back to make them stick out and have more dimension. And again, you've got another vellum piece there, which is different from the first one. Love this theme. Um, this is holographic paper. I love holographic paper. I don't use it that much except maybe for, um, again, more Christmassy things, but I can't find it every time, so I decided to buy one. So look at these. This one just by itself. Look at all the colors, and it changes depending on how you look at them. It's really different. It's moving inside. Um, then you have this one here, this red one, and oh, oh yes, you can see it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Then you have gold with little flowers, and again, it's really holographic. Then you have this green, beautiful. Blue, gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, sorry for the glare. Um, silver with little hearts. I love the way that it moves. Um, squares. Love the squares. Love the squares. Look at that. Sometimes you've got some little squares inside the bigger squares. You can see this. This one is fuchsia. Again, moving. A lot of colors inside here not only fuchsia that's purple but it seems to have on the camera i can see that it looks like blue greens i'll call it not greens but blue and, and pinks beautiful and i have another gold with stars this one beautiful if you can find these that would be great um i find most of them on amazon i think um, okay, I've got little paper packs here, but these are to make gift boxes. So, different ones. This is, again, um, heavy paper, cardstock. And you've got, all these are pre-cut. You've got pre-folds, again. These are to make pillow boxes. Look at these. Of course, you can make them, but I think they were about a dollar, and they're... 20, you can make 20 boxes out of these. Look at the design. I mean, it's 
Okay, very girly, but hey, what am I? Right? Flowers, polka dots, more flowers with little birdies for summer, for all seasons, actually. So really like this one. I've also took this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. There are some designs here that I love. Again, a lot of uh, gold foil on, on it. Might come a little closer this time. Sorry if I've been a bit quick. So two of each. This one has no foil. Look at this one. And there is foil. I'm not sure you can see it. Yes. Um, the flamingos have glitter. Gold glitter. Beautiful design. Beautiful. I love this one. And this design is a bit different. You've got no glitter, no foil on it, but still beautiful. Um, is there two? Yeah. You've got these polka dots with chevrons. The polka dots are a glitter. This one has no glitter. These polka dots have a little bit of glitter here, are the gold pieces there. Still think it's nice. No glitter. And again, this one has glitter on it. You can see here these leaves. Beautiful, beautiful. I love these. This one has no glitter. And here you've got some little stickers you can put on top. Happy birthday and different coats. You make my summer happy. And another color here. Two different colors, themes. Beautiful. Okay, what else do I have? I have this one. Uh, it's again some cardstock, heavy cardstock. They're all very shiny. I think that all of them are. It's two by, no, they've got four designs each. Um, these come from, I think it comes from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I can't remember exactly. Um, so, blue and glitter. I hope you'll be able to see the glitter. Polka dots, they're all glittery. They're all shiny. Hope you'll be able to keep it, uh, pick it up. It's not easy to see on camera if it picks up the colors right or... <gasps> this one is absolutely gorgeous and it is shiny. It is shiny. You've got this glitter and it is... You have texture also. This one as well very shiny glitter oh I like that as a background and it has I think it has the right size to make a card and fold it in half or a box a box would be nice a small box since they're not big what's the size of these there are four by eight. Oh, beautiful I'm rediscovering them actually I've bought these a few days ago and I completely forgot what I had. Beautiful and a lot of texture. These are nice too. It looks like the little sprinkles you put on your um, on your cupcakes. Really nice and textured and shiny. Little dots. They're not polka dots. They're just kind of little dots. And that's it. Love this one. Okay, uh, what else? An embossing folder. Haven't tried this one out. I will to see if it really goes right. It says 3D embossing folder. Why 3D? Huh, I don't know. Why 3D? Let's see. It is very thick though. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's completely different than yeah, it must have, oh, I have to try these. They have much more texture than the usual um, embossing folders that I have. So I think, yeah, it's, they're, they're much larger, they're must, much more embossed. I don't know how to say this, but I love it. Oh, gosh, I didn't know. Hmm, but there's no brand here. There is no brand, but I will have to take it a look. So if you can find one of these, and if I'm happy with it, I'll show you that. Um, little tiny scissors, really nice. Always, you know, when you craft, you need to go sometimes and have very tiny details. Small scissors are great. I have taken also these um, 
um, stickers because um, I'm not going to use the whole shapes. I just like that the fact that they were really tiny and a lot of colors, different colors, and I'm going to be able to pick them up. Even if I don't use the whole design, I'm just going to de-glue these um, and use them on cards or in flowers. Sometimes I like to do small flowers and I need small um, insides here. That's nice. Oh, love this. This one was all purple. I hope you'll see the color. It's really beautiful. Uh, again, they're assorted, you can see that, assorted decorative gems, but all in purpley, pinkish uh, colors, dark pink like fuchsia. Love that. Okay, I have bought some facial mask that was in a another store next to it. Nothing has nothing to do with it. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, I think it's almost it. No. And I love uh, decorative lights. You know, they are battery operated and uh, I will have to try these. I just love to put lights, especially now. I'll try to put this one outside and cover it up to protect it from humidity or rain. But I think that you put this on a garden or maybe um, even if you live in an apartment, I think it's nice when you have a little bit of light. And they all come in different colors. And that was about two or three bucks. And you've got ten LEDs. I think it's it's not bad. They might look great. So there you go. That was a quick haul. Different shops, different places where you can probably find these. Um, just to give you ideas, sometimes, you know, you know how to make pillow boxes. They're really fun to do. You've got all sorts of tutorials. But honestly, if you can find this for a few cents, if you're in a hurry, you can make a box out of these very quickly. Um, I hope it will give you some ideas. I will use these in future videos and come up with some ideas to decorate maybe cards in a different way using these little wooden pieces because they're really lightweight, so you can put these in a card very easily and they're not too thick so that's good too there you go please if you like this video and if you like hauls please give me a thumb up don't forget to subscribe to this video and also click to on the bell button and please do share on social medias thank you so much take care and see you soon